Hey, I'm Ryan Willis with the Knoxville News Sentinel, and today we're out on Fort Loudon Lake talking with Officer Jeff Robertson uh, about four safety tips for the lake that you might not be aware of. So tip number one, uh, when you're behind the wheel of a boat, um, it's sort of the same uh, regulations, 0.08 to be considered um, intoxicated, but there are some differences uh, with having alcohol consumption behind the wheel of a car and with, uh, behind the wheel of a boat. Can you talk to me a little bit about this? There are a few dif differences there. It's called environmental stressors, so those stressors affect everybody on the lake, even me. Uh, if you're out there for any period of time, there's things like engine vibration, the sun beating down on it, dehydration, um, wave motion, those things will affect everyone and make you tired and as well as slow your reaction time. So if you drink alcohol on top of that, it actually compounds the effects of alcohol. It's scientifically proven that one drink on the water is equal to three on land. So uh, tip number two, uh, recently, uh, July 1st, uh, two new boating laws went into effect here in Tennessee. I was wondering if you could talk to me a little bit about those. Sure, uh, the first law that has gone into effect July 1st is the move over law. And it's similar to that on the roadway. If you see a uh, emergency vehicle on the roadway, you slow down and move over. We have that on the water now. Um, it's actually no wake zone within 100 feet of those flashing blue lights. So if you see those blue lights slow down to a no wake speed, idle speed only. And once you get past that 100 feet, you can return to speed. The second law that's gone into effect is um, the voter education requirement for people that rent watercraft. Prior to July 1, you could rent a watercraft without being certified uh, to drive a boat. Now you must be certified. That exemption is all no, no longer there. Uh, so tip number three, um, you know, a lot of times when you think about um, being in the water and being unsafe, it's a lot of uh, drownings. That's why you're supposed to always wear your, um, your flotation devices. But also I've heard the propeller can be uh, danger as well on the boats. Yes, we work multiple accidents per year just in this area with propeller strike injuries. Um, what we want you to do there is if someone's in the water around your boat, that motor needs to be off. The propeller is very unforgiving. If you get struck once, you're going to get struck multiple times, and typically those strikes are fatal. And tip number four, uh, this is one I never really thought about, but uh, carbon monoxide can be a danger on the lake. Is that right? Correct. It's usually shown in uh, cabin cruiser type boats that have enclosed spaces or living quarters, but it, it can happen on an open air boat as well. Uh, on a cabin cruiser boat, there's an exhaust leak or you're, you're pulling in carbon monoxide from an engine somewhere that's leaking. And the symptoms of carbon monoxide poisoning uh, are you get dizzy, get headaches, maybe feel seasick, and eventually you'll fall asleep and don't wake up. If you suspect carbon monoxide poisoning, get fresh air flowing through the boat, get the person out of that concentrated area and get them in a fresh air, seek medical help immediately. 